I have a Samsung Galaxy A52 here. I'm going to show you how to transfer files such as photos and videos directly to your Apple computer, iMac, or a MacBook uh, via cable. And we're not going to use any of those that iTunes. Now, in my opinion, this is the easiest way to transfer um, photos and videos. I mean, of course, you can use a Wi-Fi transfer, which takes forever. It's unreliable. You can even use iTunes, which you typically have all kinds of issues as well. Okay, so uh, my way is basically just using the uh, cable, and we're going to transfer directly to the computer. The thing is, this uh, uh, Apple computer is not a Windows where you just plug it in and start transferring things. With the uh, Apple computer or MacBook here, what you have to do first is if you download this Android file transfer, I'll put a link below where you can download it. It's free, of course. Once you download it, you'll have a little Android icon robot down here. Now, every time you plug in your, um, a, uh, your um, A52, you can just start transferring right away. So I already downloaded it. So next thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and plug your phone in. So you can see I plugged it in, my USB port right there. Now let me go ahead and grab my... A52, let me plug it in here and give it one second and we should get a message on the phone right here. It says allow access to phone data. I'm going to go ahead and click on allow right there. And now, okay, so once I click on OK, all this is going to disappear. Don't worry. Just go back down here to the Android green guy right there. Go ahead and click on that. Now from here, what we want to do is go into the DCIM folder. That's where all your photos and videos are in that folder, DCIM. So double click on that. Now I have camera here, which all the photos and videos I took with my phone. And I have some other folders, screen recordings and screenshots. I'm going to go to camera here. Double click on that. Now you can see I have some, um, some photos and videos here. You know that they are photos if you have a, a JPEG extension, JPG. And you know if it's a, you know it's a video if you have an MP4 extension. Okay, so anyway, from here, we can just drag and drop. We can drag it right to the desktop. Let's pick one photo. Let's drag and drop it onto the desktop, and voila, you can see it right there. Now, what I typically do is I'll go ahead and just create a new folder here, and I'll just call it Joe. And now I'll go ahead and select the ones, photos and videos that I want, or I can just go ahead and select all of them. I can drag and drop it right into my new folder I'm calling Joe. Let go. Wait for this to transfer. There we go, we're done. So here's my folder here, let me double click on that. Now you can see all my photos and videos there. And I can go ahead and unplug my phone and there you go, it's on my MacBook now. Now I can go ahead and edit some videos. Pretty simple, questions, issues, comment below.